It's only close to the SNE, but I think OBCL is going to pull through. Yeah, I definitely agree in this recovery search and destroy. This is a game type that uh this is a this is a game type that uh was vetoed out last series. However, um Vanquish did get, did win this um against um the Z team, whatever that was. Z, 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 I don't I forget it. But um they were able to pull it out. So, I think this is probably going to be something they vetoed for to get this map because they wanted to get away from Biolab. Um so we'll see exactly what happens here on recovery, but um I'm excited. This series is going to be awesome. And if Vanquish wins again, if Vanquish wins, we get another series, and it's going to be excellent. I uh, kind of wish you were playing Solar or Detroit S and D. Recovery and Biolab are probably my most hated S and Ds in this game. So it's whatever. We're going to see a great series no matter what map it's on. One board with Clink. He's has your bomb in his hand. Has two nades. You see your um your Vanco squad pushing over, trying to put some shots in. Clint. He gets stunned on bomb. He gets away. He doesn't have actually. He does have trophy. I believe that is. He has trophy. He's not using it. Trophy and two nades. He's just waiting for the nades to fall out. I was like four nades to drop down. So there's gonna be two people on that team running nades. Rose, pick up a kill. Nice job picking up a uh, leaving healer. Clink on the bomb right now, planting. Gets it down, gets those points as well. You see Emphetic trying to get a kill, which he does. And then you pro Feezy picks up a kill. So he'll be sitting back in the swan, picks that kill up too. You have BP and last one on your screen. Oh, Emphetic kills him. That's going to be it. Vanquish taking your first map. I mean, taking your first round pretty convincingly. Nice job by them. Yeah, on defense, they, they pretty much just did what they needed to do. They traded out after the bomb did get put down. They ended up with two players alive, and they just traded their way right on through to go ahead and, and get that bomb defused. So we'll see if uh, OBCL is able to answer here when they get their chance on defense. All right. Loading up with Emphatic. Just keep on board with him. Did pick up a two-piece that last game. Well, last round, sorry. Pushing back down with bomb. He has trophies on as well. I think he's going to play this slow. He has a bow in his hand. He calls out someone pushing that mid ramp right there. Nice kill. I'm going to call out by him for if he picks that up. Emphatic staying down. He thinks someone pushed down his bottom yellow. Emphatic just staying up. Waiting for his teammate someone to push the bomb. He jumps up, jumps some shots into him. Doesn't connect with any of them. Emphatic just staying up right now, rotating back. This might be rotation to B, which would be interesting. It's now a 3v2 in favor of OBCL. You see Vanquish Emphatics rotating over. He's all by himself. It's a 1v3. Beeping Rose. And it's still alive. Emphatic picks up one on Beeping. Doesn't get the other one. I do believe that is Instincts that picks him up with that kill. Nice shots by him. If not, it's Rose that picks him up. Really nice play there. You know, OBCL dropped everyone on that. And Instincts is going to be picking up your last kill. You see this uh, final cook him. Yeah, there we, there we see um, just how good they are at Search and Destroy. They're able to go ahead and trade right down through like Vanquish was able to do before. Both these teams on defense are playing really sound. They're getting the advantage in numbers by picking up one kill, and then they're just trading their way right through to, to finish it off. Um, it's just what you want to see from the defense as we're on board here with BP. Looks like they're playing a pretty aggressive mid. They trade out right there. BP might run into another one. Is he able to rape him? He absolutely does. Right all over Soapy right there. What a fantastic play as they're going to go ahead and try to get this bomb down at B because they are all, are all over it right there. p pack insane play there by BP. Oh, but gets turned on by Emphatic. Clink, bunch some shots in, picking up Emphatic. is going to be a 2v1. Oh, now 1v1 leaving Hiller versus Instincts. Instincts is an extremely smart player here at Game on LLC. Honestly, I see him taking this just because of how smart he is. He just has the knowledge of where people are going to be and how to play every situation. And this is an example of it now. He plants the bomb. No, where he planted it is he can see the bomb if he does hop on it, uh, leaving Hiller. If he hops on bomb, Instincts can see it. But Emphatic Healer sees him. Brian has to go back and kill Al Emphatic Healer jumps off it, and Brian's going to get the points with the kill. I would have liked the bomb to blow up there, but nice play. You had to kill him. You didn't want to die there, so great play there by Instincts. 
Yeah, like you said, he's, he could see his feet there near the bomb, so he was just going to play time all the way down, and when he saw his feet there, he was going to drop down, maybe put a couple shots at him, see if he leaves the bomb, and then just fly out of there. Yeah. No reason to die there. Um, just definitely just played the time right. That was perfect by him. And as we see, uh, OBCL once again uh, taking a 2-1 lead. Now they're on defense. Let's see if Vanquish is able to change it, because OBCL played really aggressive right there as we see Silpy throwing in some pre-nades there, looking for a quick, easy kill there. There it is. Boom. Instincts gets picked up by that nade by Silpy. And his uh, his nades on this map have been fantastic. In Losers Finals, he actually hit someone with a god nade from across the map on the bomb. So he definitely has his nades on point as he's going to go ahead and pick up Rosé as it looks like it's going to go to 2-2 unless Clink is able to pull something out of his hat and he is not able to as we see 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> someone just fell and died. It's lit out here, ladies and gentlemen. 2-2, two -two, tied, OBCL, Vanquish, insane matchup. Like we said, probably the most interesting matchup in game on history. I don't know if that's true. I haven't been here that long. But pretty, pretty exciting match from what I've been here. Pretty exciting match. One boy with leaving healer. He has the uh, two nades in his back pocket. Just staying up. His goal here is he's going to throw nades on bomb whenever the bomb player clink hops on it. But he does have trophy, so I'm expecting him to put his trophy on when he draws bomb. If not, that would be a stupid play. Clint can't see him through that that pipe right there. Oh, gets hit with two nades. He should be running his trophies there. You can't be by bomb without trophies. You will get naded. That is a nade spot. Instincts has nades on him top jungle. Someone left the game after this round. We were going to be ending it. Leaving healer. And end it. End it. End it. They're leaving. End it. You should have had to play the round out. Yeah, we're ending the game. Hold on. Hold on. You. I thought you played the round out. Brian. I thought you played the round out. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break while we're waiting for another uh, for the one player who dropped out of that game, uh, or two players who dropped out of that game uh, to get back in here and um, get a look. So we're gonna take a quick break here. Uh, we might actually go ahead and run a quick thirty-second ad here.